How does it feel? Mm, mm, it feels good. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Trish and welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. Um, today, I'm going to be sharing with you some products in my stash that I need to use up. Those products are from the product line Basque and Bloom. I've had these products for a while and I am determined to go through my stash product line by product line and utilize these products and also make videos for you guys. Let's get started. Okay, uh, as I said, I'm, you, I use the Baskin Bloom line. I'm actually still in the process of using it, but what I started off with was the Baskin Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. Not sure if you guys can make that out, but I use quite a bit. Um, it smells really good. It smells really good. It has like a, a citrus, orangey citrus type of smell, but it was kind of um, thin for shampoo. I'm used to shampoos being a little thicker. Uh, but it wasn't like watery, but it was just a little thinner. And it does say herbal cleanser, uh, sulfate-free shampoo, but it wasn't like a really heavy shampoo. I kind of used a lot because I was trying to, you know, to get um, some suds. And uh, eventually I did. I, I got some suds and I was able to clean my hair thoroughly. I could tell my hair was clean. Uh, it had pretty much like a little squeaky clean to it, but not like a, a, a real harsh squeaky clean. So it felt like it still had a little moisture in it. So, um, yeah, it's a, a decent uh, shampoo and uh, I'm going to use it because I'm going to use it up. I'm going to use my stash. So eventually I will get finished using it. And um, when I say use my stash, guys, I have so many products. I am a recovering natural hair product junkie and I have a lot of products to go through. Okay, moving on with the Baskin Bloom. Okay. Um, Next, after I rinsed out the shampoo, I used their Brahmi Root Hair Mask, and it says it repairs and restores. I'm heavy-handed, too. That's another issue. Oh, it smells so good. Look how much I... I know. That's bad. I, I'm heavy-handed, and I, I want every bit of my hair covered when I deep condition it. So I did um, use a whole lot of this. Oh, wow. Okay. The products, they look pretty good. Uh, distilled water. Um, inf infused with the Brahmi, burdock root, marshmallow root. Uh, yucca root so it, it's like really uh natural ingredients it smells so good that little orangey scent it smells so good but like I said I applied it to my hair I sectioned my hair just like this like I always do and I applied it to each section and again I was heavy-handed I did a bit of detangling uh, while doing that and um, I actually left it on overnight because uh, it was late um, when I did my hair. So I actually left it in overnight all day and then um, got in the shower and uh, rinsed it out. And uh, my hair feels good. It's moisturized. I had a plastic cap on while I got dressed. So it's still, uh, it's still really wet. That's why I do it like this to kind of hold in that uh, water and moisture. So now... Uh, the next step that I'm on now is um, I'm going to be using the leave-in, the Ease leave-in conditioner. And it says it strengthens 
and protects. So I'm going to be using this as the leave-in. I'm going to be using the More Moisture Cream as the moisturizer. And it says it moisturizes, nourishes, defines, and strengthens. So I'm going to be using this as my moisturizer. And the last product in the line that I'll be using today is the Baskin Bloom Essentials Mango Castor Twisting Cream for thick and coarse hair. And I have kind of thick and coarse hair. So I'll be using that as far as um, twisting cream. It has a really light smell. It is thick. So I'll be using that because I've been going back and forth if I'm going to do um, a twist out or a braid out, one of the two. So um, let me show you guys how I usually do my hair after I have washed and deep conditioned. Um, the first thing that I do is, um, of course, apply the um, leave in. And I like how I like to do my hair. I like to apply the leave in and um, the moisturizer first. And then after I do that, I then um, I put I put a plastic cap on because um, uh, in addition to uh, using my stash, I am also on a quest for moisture. I'm on a quest for moisture. So uh, that's just something that I feel that has been working for me. I'm to pump some of this out. Something that has been working for me, you know, as far as moisture and keeping that moisture is this little step that I do. Mm -hmm. It smells, it smells similar to leave-in. It has that uh, citrus scent as well. Okay, okay, so uh, let's get started. Like I said, I have my hair sectioned off. I uh, got out the shower after uh, rinsing my hair of the deep conditioner. So just going to start with this section right here. So this is what my hair is looking like with the deep conditioner rinsed out. Uh, it does feel soft. Detangle a little more. And I am a finger detangler. Okay. And I usually work <laughs> in these same sections. I may twist in these sections and braid in these sections. I do not uh, do a lot of, you know, little braids or little twists. Let's see what this leave-in does. And I did uh, watch some videos, uh, some YouTube videos of uh, YouTubers that uh, use these products and they seem to like them. Uh, all the people uh, that I watched and I, I watched at least four to five uh, videos of folks using um, these products and um, all of them seem to like them and they got really good results um, with their hair like twist outs. I think most of them did twist outs, maybe one braid out of the people that I watched. And I like to get all in here in the middle. It's important that you do that and work it in. Um and and you know I don't I don't know I can't speak for everybody but myself. I don't know sometimes it's things like I am a lot of times it seems like I'm always in a rush when I'm doing my hair and I'll just, you know, hurry up and put something on. But it's important to take your time and uh, using my glasses, take your time and, and work the products in. And look how this is going working into my hair. It is absorbing and it feels good. So now um, next I'm going to put in the more moisture cream. Okay, I dropped the top. Okay. 
seems like it's that same scent, but it's um, quite a bit more faint. And this is what it looks like. It's a, a light, creamy. I'm not going to do too much because I still got to put that twisting butter in. So I'll do one more that much to get the rest of the hair. Split it. Get in there. And like I said, what I like to do is I'll do this. Work the leave in and the moisturizer through. I am trying to take my time. Work that through. So I'm just going to twist this up. And this is what I do. Twist it up. I got all that good product in there. Put a little bit more on the ends. You know, we got to baby those ends. Which I'm, I'm due for a trim for sure. Which I will be doing myself. And it does not matter to me if it's not perfect because I wear my hair. Oops, oops I got water flying. I wear my hair um, in textured uh, styles most of the time. Most of the time, my hair is in. Um, uh, what is it? A twist out, a wash and go, or a braid out. And sometimes I do other things too. Uh, I might, you know, if I'm going somewhere, sometimes I might do some kind of rod set, a twist and curl, and stuff like that. But it's never like bone straight styles that I go for. Um, occasionally, rare occasion, I might do. Um, ponytail and like I said guys I'm going to do either a twist out or a braid out and I'm going to use the mango caster twisting cream from Baskin Bloom so uh, I'll be right back I'm going to do a twist out that's what I'm going to do okay okay and this is the mango caster twisting cream Mm-hmm. This is what it looks like. It's kind of thick. Not super thick, though. Not this much. Let's see. I just hope I don't have any flakes. I'm not going to put too much because I did put the leave in. in and also... Um, the moisturizing cream, so that's already two products. But I just want to try, try them out and see how they work. And I'm just doing, like I said, a twist out. Get these ends real good. Because I think I'm just going to twirl the ends. And yes, I am only doing eight twists. And we're going to see how that turns out. <laughs> only eight. Okay. Okay. And we're going to see how it turns out. And I twist firm. And as I twist, I kind of do a little curve like that. See what I'm doing? Twist over. That's how I twist. And a little more cream to this ends 
And we all know why, because our ends are the oldest part of our hair and they tend to be drier. I hope I don't get flakes. Look at that residue. I hope I don't have flakes. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm doing eight twists. Uh, as far as my hair, that is what I typically do. Sometimes I might twist these. I might split. I'm sorry, split these eight sections and uh, make them uh, 16 sometimes but that's rare usually i'm just twisting my ends here not gonna put a rod on it just gonna twist it that's what we're doing today and um so we can have a little coil I would say coil on the end. I make sure I do that. Even though it looks straight, guys, it's gonna it's gonna curl up. And I do need to dust these ends, which I I'll get right around to doing that here real soon. See, I don't like this residue. Oh, I hope I don't have flakes. Hope I don't have flakes. See, I'm heavy handed, and I struggle with that being heavy handed. Let me rub it in a little more. I will come back uh, with the results because I'm not going to have you guys sit through uh, me doing my whole head. Mm. Hey guys, I'm back um, with my twist out results from using the Baskin Bloom product line. How I styled, I did eight jumbo twists two here, two here, one here, one in the middle, and two at the bottom. And uh, I've started doing like one here and one back here because I'm trying to, you know, stop parting my hair the same way. That's why, like, I got these little fuzzies here because I do uh, part my hair in the center all the time for styling, applying product, and so um that's why i did it that way but it was eight twists in total and um this is what i got these are my results um i did um uh, unravel the twist and i separated a little bit but it's enough for me and uh with them being jumbo twists this is probably why i have so much volume which is fine with me um this um, volume that I have is fine with me. So I went a whole day and this evening I took my hair down and this is what I got. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get some texture shots for you guys so you can see the texture. Um, I feel like I got uh, really, really good definition, you know, for eight twist. Um, How does it feel? it feels good it feels good it feels moisturized it does not feel dry it feels good it really feels good so um yeah so uh i don't want to keep you guys too much longer uh and that's pretty much these are my results from um using baskin bloom products doing a uh eight chunky twist and um, I will definitely use these products again. And I uh, got to use them anyway because I am using up my stash. Again, thank you for stopping by my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions for me in regards to using these products, please leave them in the comments below. If you have suggestions for other great products that are, you know, uh, really moisturizing for the hair, that's what I'm looking for, uh, please leave that in the comments below. Also, uh, if you like this video and if you think this video will benefit somebody else, please share and hit that like button. I will really appreciate it and come back and uh, see other videos uh, that I put out.
out there, uh, hit the subscribe button and um, the notification bell so you know when I drop another video. Again, thank you for stopping by, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.